Orient the entry tube and pin guide in the desired position. Insert the 3.2 mm guide pin into the proximal tibia so that it reaches the center of the intramedullary canal. Remove the inner pin sleeve and use the 12.0 mm reamer to open the canal. Remove the 3.2 mm guide pin. After accessing the tibial canal, insert the 3.0 mm ball nose guide wire down the shaft of the tibia and past the fracture using the guide wire gripper. With the tip of the guide wire at the desired depth, measure the length of the nail by sliding the guide wire depth gauge over the guide wire and reading the measurement based on the etched line. Using the cannulated reamers, sequentially ream the canal until cortical chatter is obtained. It is recommended to ream 1 to 1.5 millimeters over the desired diameter of nail. Remove the entry tube and insert the nail over the ball nose guide wire and into the canal. Lightly strike the impactor pad with a mallet to complete the nail insertion. Remove the ball nose guide wire. Thread the green locking collar into the locking hole on the targeting module. When compression is desired, be sure to use the hole marked Dynamic. Insert the assembled drill sheath, drill guide, and obturator into the targeting guide until it rests on the outer cortex of the tibia. Using the calibrated 4.0 mm drill, drill through the drill guide and sheath to the desired depth and measure using the calibrations on the drill bit. Next, remove the drill guide. Insert the desired 5.0 mm cortical screw through the sheath using the captured screwdriver. Unscrew the capturing rod on the back of the T-handle and remove the screwdriver. Remove the sheath and locking collet nut. If using the compression mechanism, fixate the nail distally next. For distal fixation, the screws are targeted using fluoroscopy. Drill bicortically through the bone using the 4.0 mm freehand drill. Measure the screw length using the distal depth gauge and the depth mark at the 4.0 mm freehand drill. Advance the desired screw to the captured driver until it's secured in the bone. Repeat the steps to place the additional distal screws. For intraoperative fracture compression, insert the reduction bolt through the locking bolt at the top of the nail. Using the ball hex driver, rotate the reduction bolt clockwise until the desired compression is achieved or significant resistance is felt on the screw. Insert the remaining proximal screws by threading in the collet nut and drill guide sleeve, drilling to the desired depth and inserting the appropriately sized captured screw. Complete the remaining proximal screw insertion to fully lock the nail in place and maintain compression. Unthread and remove the compression bolt using the hex driver. Finally, unthread the locking bolt using the ball hex driver and remove the targeting arm assembly to complete the procedure.